Oh, oh, she got someone. Oh, yeah, you lured over the guy and you pit pocketed him. That was, uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. run away, run away. <laughs> she got caught. What's going on, guys? Dragast here, and welcome to a game called Salig. Now, this is a new game that we're going to be checking out today, and I am very excited for this one because it's a genre that I've never really experienced, and I think you guys are really going to like this. Now, the premise behind this game is it's 880 AD England, a.k.a. the Dark Ages. We are living in the Kingdom of Wessex, and we are an Anglo-Saxon male. That's really it. We're no king. We're literally just a person in the Dark Ages trying to survive, and it literally is an open world where you can do whatever you want. So we have to deal with relationships, we have to deal with trading, we have to deal with getting a job, things like that. So we're gonna get into it today and see how you guys like it. I did do the tutorial, and I will say it's remarkably in-depth for an early access game, so bear with me as we learn things, because the tutorial wasn't the best. Now, the fun part of this game is every playthrough is going to be a little bit different. I think for this first one, I kind of want to be, you know, the town drunk, if you will. Or just, I, I just want to get in trouble. I want to do things that are bad, and I want to see how long I can survive without really having a job, without really buying a shop or anything. And we'll see how we can do. So we got to make our character here first, and we do have a character creator, so that's going to be fun. All right, what, what, what does a town drunk look like? Okay, give, give me some beautiful hair here. We need- Stop Stop looking away, buddy. I'm trying to get you the right hair for you. Oh, dude, I, I think I, I gotta go for the long, beautiful locks of blondness. Uh, no, actually, that looks pretty horrifying as well. I, I, I do really like that. Some of these hairs, they're, like, really good, and then there's absolutely awful ones. No, you know what? I'm going for the long, blonde locks. Actually, what, what other colors do we got? I think, yeah, you know what? We're gonna stick with blonde. What's going on with his beard, though? There's, like, part of it in his face. Uh, let's see if we can get... Uh, can you stop looking away? Like, that's the most annoying thing when I'm trying to do your face here. I'm almost thinking no beard at all. I think I look like a rather trustworthy individual without a beard. You know, no, we, we, we need a beard. What am I saying? I'm Dragast. Of course I need a beard. Okay, so the beards in this game do not look that good, though. <laughs> so I think we're just going to get that. All right, tops. What looks trustworthy? I, I, I want to I wanna gain the trust of individuals and then kill them. I, I don't know if I'll actually kill them. I don't even know if I can kill them, but that sounds awesome. Now, the fun thing as well is people remember what you do. So I believe we can really get some drama going. Going on. All right, first name and family name. Oh shit! All right, there we go. That's a name for a wonderful individual, Dirk Smirks. Now starting. Oh, you can actually change the starting money. Uh, you know what? I don't know how to play, so just to play it safe, let's start off with the suggested ten thousand. Uh, day length. Yeah, that sounds fine. Days per season. Only one. No, you didn't, oh, okay, well, you know what, I think I'll just do the suggested and we'll see what happens, so, again, I've never really played this game, I've only done, oh, that we actually too, do get to choose the map, oh, so, this must all be the Kingdom of Wessex, I gotta be honest, I don't know too much about history, especially European history, so my bad, uh, where do we wanna go? Only half of this map is accessible at this time, alright, well that doesn't sound very fun, so we're gonna go to Wiltonskur, right? Wiltonskur? Yeah, Wiltonskur, there we go, that's, that's how to say it. Ah, uh, so Wiltonskur, perhaps best known for the home of Stonehenge. I did not know that. Uh, this is embarrassing. You guys are going to know too much about me, and I know nothing. I kind of like the idea of going to a small hamlet, but the idea of a larger town also sounds fun. So, Leestead, a large village situated in clearing at the opening of the valley. Plenty of resources and la regular stopping points for traveling merchants. Okay, actually, that actually sounds good. I think we're gonna go there. We'll see how we can survive here. I gotta be honest, I probably will not be alive by the end of this video. Unless that's not implemented into the game yet. I have no idea, but I plan on getting into trouble. All right, and it's still morning time, so it's rather hard to see, but our character, if we, uh, actually, we go over here, we got a highlight over that. I think he's inside our house right now, so we start off with a little cabin here. This is my wonderful cabin. I think he, uh, is just kind of waiting out the rain in here. Uh, can we actually do anything in here? It doesn't look like we actually can. We can just see what's going on. Now, the side panel here will, uh, tell you the different things that we can do. So, we can play with the production and storage. Mind you, we aren't building or making anything right now. So, ah! What the fu- what the uh, Ah! Who who's here? Uh... Is this- is there some kinky shit going on? I'm not even doing anything yet and there's kinky shit going on. 
Uh, uh, they're still talking. Okay, so I think somebody has come to my house, and it's a lady, obviously, and she's talking to me. I can't actually... Uh, there, I see her. I, okay, there's me. There's Dirk. Oh, I can actually control him. That's right. So can the lady come over here? I'd like to see her. Dirk, you are a beautiful bastard, my good friend. So I'm kind of just waiting out the storm right now. I can't really see outside, but... Oh, maybe I need additional bedding and shit to get her in here. Uh, so there's a lot of different things we can do. Uh, I like the idea of getting a pet dog. You will get a pet dog that will happily do your bidding. So I think you can store shit on them and whatnot. Uh, for right now, let's not spend any money just yet. We still haven't figured out the game, so... I gotta figure out how to get out of here, though. Oh, yeah. Leave. So there we go. Now it's daytime, so we gotta go do day things. Now, you can literally do anything in this game. So, for example, if we hover over someone, there's a bunch of different things. We can punch them, for example if you really want to get in trouble. Uh, I'm gonna go for right now, look for some food for myself. Maybe we can make some money uh, getting food. Can I steal these guys? No, I can't. If we hover over anything, you can see what they are. Trading post, it's actually unowned. So that's something that we could do. It looks like there's some housing being built over here. The great thing about this game is everybody else is doing the exact same thing as me. They're trying to survive. So you might get people that do crime. You might get people that uh, try and sell you things. I mean, it, it really is quite in-depth, it seems. Now, can I do anything... Uh, break in. Oh, I can break into the flour mill? Alright. Oh my god, you can start a fire. Okay, let's bring my guy over here. I want to bring him over. So if I double-click on the ground, he'll actually run. Uh, is that him? Yes, there's the good old Dirk running down the road. Uh, you know what? Let's actually talk to one of these guys, too. Let's, uh, let's, let's make some friends. So we got good old Eldwin over here, and, uh, we're gonna go talk with him. Hey, how you doing, buddy? It'd be good to, you know, get an ally with a sword, because I, I don't have any of that shit. Mm. Actually, I wonder... Can, can, can we go buy a sword, maybe? All right, we'll worry about that a little bit later. I'm gonna go try and break into the flour mill. I think if we can steal some flour, that would be great. So good old Dirk, get over here, buddy. Look at this strut with the uh, sheep herder over here. She's got, she is a confident lady walking her sheep. And then Dirk over here walking with her. Oh, now I just want a dog even more. I wonder if I can be a sheep herder if I get a dog. That's awesome. Uh, instead, I, I'm gonna go do crime. Look at, look at Dirk. Uh, what do you got? Where'd you get a tool, buddy? Oh, shit. Okay. Ho! Ho! He's, he's smacking there! There's a horse just running by right now. I don't think... Not too worried about that. The sheep herder doesn't seem to care. To be fair, I'm smacking the air. I, I am not the smartest at breaking in. Oh, shit. I got, I got 380 bucks, guys. All right, so that's, that's what happens when you break into the flour mill. So you really can be, you know, just an asshole in this game. And I absolutely love that. Looks like we got a logger over here. So I'm just trying to understand what my town has. We got a watch post in the back. That's probably the entrance to the town. Let's go. This, this lady looks nice. Is this a lady? Yeah. Let's go uh, chat with her, see if we can get some good allies here. I, I, I would love to uh, build an empire of thieves or something. So, uh, where, where, Dirk? Dirk? Oh, Dirk's coming, Dirk's coming, here we go. So this is uh, very Sims-like right now uh, with what we're currently doing. Mind you, it can get a lot more complex, and we probably will be doing that soon here. Uh, what else can we do in here? Uh, follow, yell at, let's, let's flirt with. Oh, 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 plus five, she likes me. She likes me, Dirk. You sly cat, you! Yeah, she's totally happy with me. Okay, so can I do- can I- can I kill the chickens? No, I, I can't steal a chicken, unfortunately. Alright, a little bit of a rainy day, but good old Dirk's gotta earn some more money. So what I'm gonna try and do here, just to see if it actually works. I know we can actually- oh, do I have to, like, hold the ground? I think I have to hold the ground, that's right. I can entertain people. Uh, I can also bag, I can pickpocket. I think I'm gonna entertain, see if we can make some money doing that. So here we go. Oh, shit, I already got nine bucks! That was quick. This lady automatically into me. Is this, is this the lady that... No, I don't think that's the lady I met. Uh, but there we go. So we can earn some money by uh, being a little... I, I don't even know what that thing is. Is, it, is that a board? Like, I, I, I honestly don't know what that thing is. I've never seen it in my life. But this kid sure likes it right here. All right, Dirk, you sly cat, you. Oh, that one just walked right by. I'm trying to find love right now. Oh, she likes it. She likes it. Is this... I keep feeling... Oh, that is her. That is the lady that I like. Now, is there a way to see my relations? Okay, so we got, uh, yeah, that's her. She's from the Ward family. Is there a way to know more? She's a thief! Oh, it's a match made in heaven! Hold on, lady, where'd you go? Uh, I, I honestly, okay, that's the one right there. Let's go talk to her again. Uh, she's already a thief, so, you know, you know she's gonna like me. 
All right, once again, we're gonna talk a little bit here. Say what's up. Well, let's also flirt. Okay, I, I like how he moves when he flirts. She, she, she seems to actually really like this. This game's a lot easier than Sims. All right, so these are different homes over here. I'm thinking, yeah, we are. We're, we're definitely gonna go break in. So let's go break in. I love that you can start fires. That's horrifying. So uh, Dirk over here, we we need to earn some more money. Because, uh, well, being a thief is difficult work. Dirk, where'd you go? What am I... Okay, Dirk's... I, are, you, are you going to the back? Are you that strategic? Like, what the hell? All right, he is going to the side. Dirk actually does have a little bit of strategy in himself. Is there, is there a window over there? I can't really see. The camera's not the best in this game. Yeah, there is a little window, actually. He is literally breaking in right now. Uh, the market right behind me. Dirk, you are one confident motherfucker. We are going to regret this in the near future. Uh, because people know where I live too. So we got 274. We can't actually break in though. I was hoping I could like, go in and steal selective items. If we enter, what happens here? Uh, oh, we actually, okay, let's go inside. And, oh, can we steal anything? That, that, that's the question. Uh, I, I like that we can just go in random people's houses. I guess there wasn't locks back in the day. But yeah, there's really nothing to do in here, so we're just going to leave that place. And uh, yeah, we made some more money breaking into a place. All right, let's see what's going on at the, at the market. Obviously, we're going to have to buy food for myself. I don't know really how to eat, so let's just buy some fruit. And can I put them on good old Dirk? All right, I got to open. You know, I, we probably need to bring Dirk here is what we need to do. So let's bring Dirk over. Oh, look, now that it worked for me, there's everybody playing their stupid little thing now. Does the whole town have these things? Because it's really annoying hearing more than one play it. Uh, oh, wait, uh, did I just pay money for that? No, I, I don't want to listen to that shit. All right, there's a lot of people here, though. So let's, uh, let's open this up. Okay, so this, yes. So we need to bring Dirk over, and then now we have the inventory. So I'm just going to buy some fruit for right now for good old Dirk. And there we go. That was only 24 bucks. Okay, so we got lots of money to spend, I guess. All right, so it's at the end of day one. I'm gonna go home and sleep because I can't see shit at night here. Uh, so I don't even know where Dirk is, but I, I addressed him to go home. So we're just gonna wait out the night and see what tomorrow brings us because we still need to kind of explore this place and figure it all out. Mind you, we did find a nice lady, so that's good. We broke into a few places and didn't get caught, so that's good. And we made some money today. 643 gold strong, so that's pretty good. Uh-oh, is this... Okay, this guy, I, f I feel like this guy's up to no good. There's people running around. It's actually kind of scaring me. Is it just because of the rain? I hope so. Oh, I thought people were all rushing around. No, time just speeds up when you're sleeping for obvious reasons. Uh, nighttime in this game, unfortunately, damn near impossible to see. So we're just going to have to wait it out. Uh, I was hoping there'd be street lights or anything, but what the fuck am I talking about? It's 880 AD. Of course there's not street lights. Dirk, are you dead? Oh, shit. Okay, so Dirk's just... Chilling in here sleeping, as you can see. Dirk, you're gonna fall off your bed. Not that there's really that much of a, a drop. I love... You can actually see things going on outside. I don't know if you can see all those light shafts. But I do notice... I did notice that we do have two beds in here. So maybe, just maybe, that lady can come live with us. That'd be uh, absolutely great. We got a little bench in here. It's absolutely adorable. Oh, it's looking like it's daytime. All right, Dirk, time, time to wake up, buddy. We, we got shit to do today. Dirk, help me. Okay, let's leave. There we go. Oh, it's, it's not even daytime. There's just some guy out front of my house with a light. Fucking asshole. And there's these people talking right by my door. God damn it. Like, can't, can't you go talk somewhere else? Do you have to be right in front of my door? All right. I, I may as well just go back to bed. All right. There we go. So now I can actually see. Let's get him to leave. And immediately the time slows down. So that's convenient. Now let's go check out our logbook. I saw something happen last night. A traveling merchant. Oh. Oh, okay, so that, that flips the pages. A traveling merchant has recently been seen setting up a camp in the area. They will remain there until the start of autumn. I'd actually really like to see what the traveling merchant sells. So I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it's somewhere down here. All right, so he's got a leather pack. That's actually going to help me out a little bit. What are these? Ooh, gems. So you can buy and sell in this game if you want to. That's not the traveling merchant, though, I don't think. We, we, need, we need to find where that guy is. I think he was out in the woods somewhere. All right, actually, that is the traveling merchant, so we are definitely going to run over here. I have no idea where Dirk is, so uh, it's probably going to take a while. But, uh, yeah, I definitely want to bring him over here. Run, Dirk! We need, uh, we need to rush here because this was actually really far away. Okay, so traveling merchant lady. Hey, how you, how you doing? All right, so, uh, yeah, we got a backpack here. I think I am definitely... Okay, I don't have enough room for the leather pack because I still got this damn fruit here. So we're going to sell some of that fruit... I think I actually made a little bit of profit with that anyways. And we got the leather pack. Now, I need to figure out, A, how to get into Dirk's inventory. Oh, character and inventory. There we go. So now we can put on 
the pack. And Dirk's got a little backpack on. Look at that. That's adorable. All right, so that's good to know, though. We can buy weapons, we can buy armor, and we can buy coats and hoods. Now, uh, I don't think there's any of that here, unfortunately. But we should have enough money to get us set up with something good. They really give you enough money to start up a business. And, uh, being Dirk, I don't really need a business, so I can spend it on stupid shit. Uh, what, what, what can I do? Can I, oh, I can break into this flour mill, too, with the guy right in front of it. Like, what, what, what are you doing, guy? You just, you just walking around with your horse? Is that, is that helping him or something? And, seriously, what did you do to this horse? What the fuck is wrong with you, you sick bastard? Alright, but there is, uh, this other village. I guess it's, it's technically connected to my village, but this village over here... Uh, I'm just gonna call it a different village, because obviously it's gated in and everything. Kinda wish I lived over here. Can we, like, steal a house? Is there any open houses? Uh, okay, so yeah, you can actually find open houses, so... Uh, mind you, there's lots of families over here. Ooh, actually, look at this! I found a house that's unowned right by the market here. How much does it cost to buy this? Uh, 1,500 gold. Whoa! Excuse me? Okay, that, that was that was just a drastic weather change, that's all. I actually really appreciate the attention to detail. When it starts raining, everybody starts running around because they obviously don't want to get wet. So I think, I think we will buy an extra house. I mean, there's houses, uh, these both are probably unowned. Oh no, actually it just doesn't have a front door. Or the front door's over here. Oh, they are. That's a little confusing. All right, I think I'm going to forget about the house for right now. Again, I don't want to spend too much money just yet, but uh, I do want to check out the wares here. So let's buy and sell. And unfortunately, oh, there's like iron here, but I think I got to find a blacksmith is what I need to do because I would really like to buy a weapon. Ooh, porridge. I think, I, I, I th I think I'll buy that. Uh, now we have this leather pack, so we get three more slots. That's perfect. Uh, and I'll also throw this away, so we just have the porridge here. Let's actually eat that. Uh, I, I, I don't know if it, like, warns you if he's hungry or not. Uh, okay, so I can't actually eat it well in the market, it seems like. Alright, I, I don't actually know how to get my character to eat. I'm pretty sure, now that I think about it, he just automatically eats whatever when he's hungry, it said. Uh, during the tutorial, so I'm hoping for that because I would hate for have him die But yeah, I think he'll be fine So I'm gonna start heading back and I'm just gonna look for things we can do along the way All right, Dirk before we go buddy We gotta pray to God because we need to get rid of all those sins of stealing So I have no idea what this does. We're gonna find out. Maybe it'll give me just good karma Can I actually go inside? Okay, I can go. I thought I could go inside the church. I guess I can't though That that's lame. Oh wait Okay, so you just gotta double click on it to actually go inside. So Dirk! Dirk, hey buddy! There there, there you go. Just sit here and pray to God, bud. Uh, cause I think it's gonna help you out. There you go. Alright, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, what, what, what can I do over here? Can I... Okay, I can't do anything on this, but it's got different cameras. Alright, Dirk, I think we're good here. We need to go home, buddy. It's, it's, it's nighttime. It's time to go home. Alright, so it's another day. We're currently in autumn now. Now, before I go, I did want to look at the upgrades here because I think I saw, uh, if we go down, better beds would be a good idea because he's been fucking tossing and turning like crazy. That being said, a thieves' den sounds pretty cool as well. Use your cellar as a den for thieves. Only one cellar upgrade can be active at a time, so we wouldn't be able to use the storage cellar then. I'm gonna try it out. I don't really know what it does. But let's find out. So there we go. Uh, inventory upgrades, work pace. Each new level increase of work. Oh, wait, what? I don't know what these numbers mean. Okay, so w there is a workspace in here now. So I technically do have my thieves den. Uh, can I actually see anything? Uh, oh, hire a worker. Okay, so now we can hire a thief to do my thieving for me. I can build literally a thief empire. So we got different beggars here. Uh, obviously. Oh, that's Wilwyn! Well, when you can work for me, okay. So now we, got <laughs> oh, this is this is a match made in heaven, guys. Uh, we so we got Willwyn working for us now. Uh, she's a career thief. Oh, she's over it already. Look at that. All right, I don't really know how to tell her to go do thief things though. So uh, I I know there's a way. Now hold on here. If we leave and come back, is, is she outside? Uh, I I don't I don't know what she's doing. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so now we have a new camera, and if we go down to the den, you can see that indeed we do have a little thieves place, you know, a thieves sanctuary. Uh, so now we can technically work with thieves. Now, I don't really know. Uh, the merchant camp has now moved on. Okay, so there she is. She's chilling in here. That's pretty cool. I don't know how to tell her. Oh, I can kiss her now? Hold on here. 
All right, I can't seem to kiss her right now. Oh, it's probably because it has a big X. That means she's busy doing something. I don't know how to get to get Wilwyn down here. Am I controlling her now? I'm, I'm really confused. Wilwyn, where are you? Are you upstairs still? All right, I think I've got it. So I've highlighted Wilwyn, and we got a bunch of different things we can do now. We can fire worker, pit pocket at area, waylay at area, and send to Thieves Den. I'm gonna get her to pit pocket right now, and let's go. Obviously, we want to go like to the merchant site here. Uh, so yeah, she's just gonna fucking chill here and pit pocket people, people for me. That's awesome. So now I can actually do other things that don't involve being a thief. Where are you going? I don't even know where the fuck you're going right now, dude. No, okay, you are, you are, you have left town, like seriously. Where are you? I don't even know where my damn house is now. I think it's over here. Okay, so yeah, this is where Wilwyn's gonna be. There she is! Alright, so she's just standing there looking not suspicious at all, and I, you should really be dancing or something, you know, not putting pressure on yourself. It's not normal in the Dark Ages for people to just be standing around. Uh, but yeah, she's gonna sit there and probably, hopefully, pit pocket, assuming I did it right. Oh! Oh, she got someone! Oh, yeah, you lured over the guy and you pit pocketed him. That was- uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Run away! Run away! <laughs> she got caught! And over to the thieves' den where there's safety. That was absolutely awesome! <laughs> She just, oh my god, I didn't know she was outside, that's amazing. So I literally do have a little den that we can run into when we do get in trouble. That's hilarious to me. Alright guys, well I think that's a good time to wrap it up for this episode of Sailing. We are almost through the first year, and uh, yeah, a lot has happened to little old Dirk. We started a thieving empire, we met a nice little lady called, uh... Fuck, I forget her name. Wilwyn! Actually, where, where is Wilwyn? Okay, so the, she's at her family house right now. Let's let her not work for right now. She had a hard day, but, uh, yeah, we can get, uh, her to do some more pitpocketing, some more waylaying in the next episode. If you guys like this, of course. So if you guys want to see more of Dirk and Wilwyn and, and see where we can take this game, because it is pretty interesting. Obviously, it's a very early version of the game, but, uh, it does have a lot of character, too. I'm really enjoying it. So once again, guys, this was Sailing. If you do want to pick it up, for yourself it is an early access on steam link will be in the description of this video and yeah let me know if you guys want to see some more of this because i am really interested by it so as always thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one